I finished off my 32-bit floating point adder and subtractor in Excel VBA. So this is the file here, and if you click on Add Subtract, it goes through to the simulation window. And you can see we've got the addition here, and we can put the value for our X value in the bottom line here, for example 7, and the Y value, a value of 5. And it actually works up the way, so it goes from the 7 plus the 5 and gives us the 12. So we're always working up. And you can see that if we were to use the negative sign, it would be 7 minus 5. And of course, 7 minus minus 5 would be 7 plus 5, which is 12. Or if you had a minus sign in here, it would be minus 7 minus minus 5, which is minus 7 plus 5, which is minus 2. So all of the addition and subtractions work. And we've also got all of the special values in. So if we had something like uh, plus infinity, and if we were to subtract off the value plus infinity, we would get not a number because that wouldn't be defined. And we've got all of the other options here as well. If you had zero and say five, it would just add the five and zero. Or we if we had uh, zero minus the five or zero minus the minus five so so on and so forth you can see that all of these values work now the other interesting thing is whenever we get through the cancellation so say for example we had a value of seven and we're going to subtract off the 6.9 so you can see here we're going to get this value here and it's going to be an approximation now if you notice down in the corner here so you see here it says leading zero count this leading zero count is going to start counting up as we uh, start making this a, a, a greater cancellation. So if that went to 6.99, you can see the leading zero count is now at a value of 9. And it works its way up. And eventually what happens happen is the leading zero count will get to a value of 23. And you can see that at that point there, you can see that we're starting to lose uh, the correct values here because uh, we're shifting out the entire mantisa out and uh, we're going to lose our approximation. So it means that it's only going to be correct approximately to the value of one, two, three, four, five, six decimal places or if you like uh, seven figures. And that's as expected for a 32-bit floating point um, addition. So this works for um, every number that I've tried and there's, there's also uh, the rounding has been added in as well so there's a, a round to the uh, nearest even. So that's all been implemented within the code. I'll quickly show you the code. Um, now I'm not a, a major uh, a guru when it comes to writing VBA code. I can kind of just make it work uh, as best I can. Uh, so the code's not particularly efficient. So uh, this is all our code here. I'm not going to talk through all of it here. Um, but I've tried to annotate it as much as I, I possibly can. So it is quite a, an involved bit of uh, coding. But the coding's actually been made uh, a lot more difficult because not only am I actually uh, trying to find the correct answer, I'm also adding in all of the extra details here. So whenever we go to add in, a, for example, a, a normal and subnormal numbers and also get normal and subnormal results, we're going to have to use a different uh, configuration. And I've described that configuration here. Now, I will get into that in the full course. What I have to do now is take the normal and the subnormal addition and subtractions and I have to uh, update the Logisim file which I'm starting on today and uh, hopefully that updated pretty quickly. Uh, so that's as far as I've, I've got now. I'm pretty pleased about getting the entire floating point uh, adder and subtractor working. So it means that in this little setup here so far We've got an option here for generating the floating point number. So you can see here how the floating point numbers get generated. 
And we also have an option here for going from the binary value to the uh, floating point number. And we also have a floating point converter. So this is going to give us the options side by side. So for example, I can put in the number 0 0.1 and it gives you the floating point, 32-bit uh, floating point for that 0 0.1. And I can also go in and recreate that here. So when we recreate it, it's going to allow us to see uh, the error in the approximation. So the value of 0 0.1, uh, what we're actually going to get is this 0 0.1 here, and we're going to have an error factor here. Okay, so um, this actually, if we subtract one from another, we can get the uh, approximation and the, the error approximation for the conversion from the decimal to the floating point. And we've also got the multiplier as well, so we can multiply the numbers together and we can get the floating point uh, multiplication as well. Uh, finally, we've got our add and subtract, which I've just shown you. And I'm going to work on the division, which I've just started on, and also a square root here as well so there's going to be a division in square root and the final one which a little bit another two will be added and those will be the fuse multiply add and also the option for complex numbers as well so that's all for this video thank you for listening i'll get you on the next video goodbye